Today we're going to take a look at a Buckman Portax LSR. The LSR is the longer version of the Portax model and the SR stands for saddle room. So this is the one with the full tack room on the front. Can come in a seat container so it's well priced. Built on galvanized steel chassis with anodized aluminum wall panels. You have nothing for rusting which is great. Means longevity. 20 year warranty on the aluminum plank flooring which is underneath that rubber mat which is fully glued to the floor. Comes with an additional mat at the front for wear protection and you can order us uh, one for the back feet if you also want we have it set up as the rear ramp entry five foot uh, ramp and it's got rubber treading on it which is a buckman patented design you can also swing it around to be a step up it's a pull of a pin and if you check out our youtube channel you'll be able to see that in action so inside the trailer you have two 33 inch wide stalls i'll just head it open as a for a demo for somebody else and then you can have a tall chest bar setting or a shorter one depending on who's riding and there are three positions at the back. The bonus of the new design of the Portex model is you can swing your panel over and it will click onto that magnet. You can do that on either side of the trailer and that will be very helpful when you're loading. For the horses you have a roof vent for the air to come in. You have hay rings up at the front of the trailer on both sides and you have brackets on those doors to hang the portable feed buckets. They're stored in the tack room at the moment. Two sliding lateral windows with grills on them. Always open up your roof vent first for air to enter the trailer and then open the ones up on the side. If you just open the ones on the side, it's a banging noise for the horse's ears and they are not going to be fans of that. Fully removable with the stall divider should you need to make it into a full loose box. We can provide you with full width uh, stall bars from wall to wall to create that if you need, if you need that. Anyways, we'll pop around now and take a look at the full tack room. On our way, I'm going to open up this entrance door on the passenger side just so you get to see the space. So we have the chest bars here and there's the other entrance door and then the wall. So really only up to 16 hands for this model or lower, which is very good for Western riders for the most part and uh, uh, medium size hunter jumpers, large ponies. It's a great trailer for all those owners. So here at the front we have your tack locker. It's a whole room. You can stand up and change in it. it. Comes with two mirrors, one for the tall one when you're inside to be able to check yourself out or if you're standing outside you have a lower one. Storage net and some hooks on the outside. Lots of hooks on the inside and a place to put those um, feed buckets, portable water buckets if you're not using them at the moment. Comes with some storage nets two uh, step stools, a little flip up seat, and a uh, boot pull for you. Of course we have the cleanup crew, they're standard in every trailer and a place for crops if you're using those. At the front we have saddle racks that swing out. The saddle rack is um, perfect for western or English. You can put both um, saddles on there and the red levers will lock them in place so you can either tuck it back into that front area or you can have it over to the far wall. There are brackets on the wall so you can tether a box so it won't move and you have two large shelves. They're easily um, accessible from inside the trailer and they have the rubber bungees to be able to open up the space for loading and then to hold your gear in place. So it's a very versatile trailer. You have light inside the uh, tack locker. You have the two lights for loading inside the horse stall. Something to consider to tow behind your SUV or light truck. Call to reserve one today.